All right, welcome back. So on deck today is going to be another 10 millimeter ballistics test. Uh, today we'll be testing the Hornady 200 grain XTP. Uh, this is a hand load and we've got these loaded hopefully to around 1150-ish feet per second or so. Um, we want to compare this to our previous test with the Gold Dot 200 grain as well as the simulated bone test we did with the 200 grain Nosler. Uh, we're looking for a deep penetrating expanding bullet for hunting application. So the Gold Dot being more of a defense oriented uh, design uh, against two legged vermin uh, gave a mixed bag of results for this application. Uh, the Noslers, uh, although I don't have the Noslers be run through the full ringer on video, I have done it in the past and I know how they perform and they are my preferred loading as a field uh, round for the 10 millimeter. Uh, so today I want to put the 200 grain XTP through that. Uh, these have been kind of hard to find. Uh, they've been out of stock for most places I checked and I finally found some in stock because I had some uh, comments or requests about the 200 grain XTP and I wanted to do the test myself. I just didn't have the, uh, the projectiles available. But now we do. So we're going to put this through a bare heavy clothing. Uh, we're going to do an extended range shot uh, impact as well as the simulated heavy bone test. All that's coming up next, so let's get this going. All right, let's go take a look. All right, and there's our 200 grain XTP, fully expanded, uh, looks really nice. Uh, we got five full jugs of penetration with a large dent on the back of jug five. So typically what I see is 1.5 times penetration in these jugs as I do ordnance gel. So 25 inches total, these jugs are approximately five inches thick. So we're looking at about probably a good 17 or so inches of penetration. Um, given this fully expanded bullet. Um, so that's pretty good for a bear shot, uh, especially if you go and look at uh, some of my previous videos with 10 millimeter loadings, uh, even 200 grain loadings that are juiced up like this. Uh, that's some pretty good penetration. So we're looking good so far. So what we're gonna do is put this through four layers of denim. Uh, this is not really intended to be a defensive load, but I do wanna see how it'll tackle a heavy clothing barrier because you never know if you're packing out on the trail, camp and whatnot, you may have to deal with a two-legged vermin and it's often cold out, people wear, uh, wear heavy coats and whatnot, but you never know. Hopefully it never come to that, but I do want to see how this would perform in that role, although it's not specifically intended for that. But let's go ahead and see what happens. All right, we have our four layers of denim up there. So uh, we have a little catch box behind the jugs in case this doesn't expand, but uh, let's give it a whirl. All right, let's go check it out. All right. Well, it looks like we did get expansion, judging by how well that's blown out. So one, two, three, four, five, and we're in jug six. I don't feel a dent, so it looks like we just got into jug six. That's about what I expected. Heavy clothing will retard the expansion. We actually lost the jacket. That's interesting. Uh, but we had a very sizable core, fully expanded. It's kind of odd to lose a jacket with a 200 grain. Uh, I'm gonna look through here and see if I can't find that jacket. All right, so I looked around, I couldn't find the jacket, so we must have lost it in the first two jugs that were obliterated, must have got flung out. Uh, kind of strange to lose a jacket on the uh, XTP with uh, the 200 grain loading. Uh, uh, especially with that much shank left on the bullet, but not really that big of a deal, though we did get expansion. Um, and the core remained intact, uh, didn't break to pieces or anything. So uh, we still had a sizable chunk of core, the majority of the bullet uh, penetrate in a straight line fashion. So not that big a deal. Uh, we got six jugs of penetration uh, and I misspoke earlier, there was a dent on the back of jug six. So you're looking at about 20 inches or so in, in ordnance gel. So uh, definitely not gonna be a, a urban carry load, but out in the wilderness and whatnot, not a big deal. The main thing is we did get expansion even through those four layers of denim. So if it had to and it got pressed in the service as a self-defense bullet, uh, it, it could still obviously get the job done, albeit not ideal, but not, I wasn't intending for that. So, all right, let's go ahead and uh, throw this through the heavy bone test and uh, see how this shakes out. All right, for those that haven't seen it, this will be the simulated heavy bone test. So what we have is four layers of cotton t-shirt draped over a standard 16 ounce Aquafina bottle, uh, then a two by eight to simulate a large bone structure, and then our jugs backing up. So what we want to see is expansion uh, prior to striking the bone structure or the board in this case, uh, and then how much uh, penetration we'll get after that. Uh, the clothing is not here as actual clothing barrier, rather is to delay expansion slightly, because typically what I see in game animals is a little less expansion uh, than a bear jug test, but more so than a heavy clove test. So this is just to strike that balance that happy medium so all right let's go ahead and see what we get all right this will be our simulated heavy bone uh we're going to try to catch a reading over the chronograph just just because
1136. All right, so uh, I'm gonna have to redo this one because it looks like, although I did catch the jacket, it looks like our jacket stripped off. It's here in, uh, in jug two, but it looks like we got three jugs of penetration and the round, uh, the core came out the side and unfortunately uh, kind of went off on its own path. But obviously we did get expansion, uh, but we'll go ahead and try that one more time just to see if we can actually catch that bullet because I'd like to see just how deep it was gonna go uh, and since it exited out. Uh, and went off on its own path. I just don't know. All right, this will be the bone test redo. Uh, because we lost the core, we didn't get to see what the actual penetration depth would have been, so we're going to go ahead and give this another shot. 1127. All right. So it looks like... Looks like we did get some kind of expansion. Uh, jug one, two, three... And it bounced off of jug four. So let's go ahead and dig this out and see what it looks like. All right, so again with the jacket separation seems to be a common theme. Uh, we did get full expansion uh, and it, it uh, cracked but didn't enter jug four. So, hmm, interesting. Um, I'm not sure why we keep seeing the jacket separation like that, uh, but it is what it is. So I do want to do one more thing. So I have some reduced power loadings. Uh, I've got to run them over the crony and see uh, what kind of velocity I get. And I want to try to replicate a, a 50 yard shot or, or extended range shot, uh, just to see how well this bullet would expand, uh, downrange. All right. So we have a reduced charge. Uh, we're, we're looking for about, uh, 1,030 to 1,050 feet per second, somewhere up in there. Cause we want to replicate an impact at about 50, 60 yards downrange, uh, based off of the other loading we were using. Uh, so we have the four layers of t-shirt draped over this. Again, kind of delay expansion a little bit. Obviously, if we get expansion in this, then we're probably gonna stand a pretty good chance of getting good expansion in a game animal. Um, we have a catch box behind it because I don't know how much this is actually going to expand and uh, I didn't want to ruin a whole bunch of water jugs. So the penetration is not really the issue here. I'm sure we're gonna get more than adequate penetration. Uh, the main thing is to see what kind of expansion we get. So let's go ahead and give this a whirl. Okay, the crony obviously gave us a fairy tale because of the water splashing on it. 1429, I'm sure that's not accurate. But, okay, so we trapped our bullet. And I had just these uh, smaller half gallon jugs up here uh, because I didn't want to ruin my, uh, my good jugs for this. Uh, but it looks like I'll have to go back and see how many I had, but we got a big dent on the back of the, our last little half gallon. We actually cracked our, our one gallon jug, and I see the bullet in there fully expanded. And again, that looks really good. So uh, you could probably expect to see good expansion, uh, even out of the 50, 60 yard shot with these rounds juiced up this much. Um, let's go ahead and take this back to the, do a tabletop and we'll wrap this up. All right, so some final thoughts on the 200 grain XTP. Uh, I intended for this to be a fuel cartridge, a fuel loading. Uh, so uh, I'm mainly comparing it against other 200 grain options or 180 grain options that are similar. And what we ended up with is we had really good performance in the bare and light clothing type shots. Um, so up close, uh, the bullet was not overdriven, didn't get overstressed, and performed really well. Gave excellent penetration. I think uh, some of the best so far uh, in this type of, of bullet weight. Uh, and also, at our extended range shot, uh, we still saw good expansion and, and good penetration. Uh, so uh, the crony messed up on that shot, but uh, I did do a couple shots prior to that, and they were around 1030 to 1050 feet per second, so it should be about a 60-yard uh, downrange impact. So n good performance in that category. A heavy clothing test, while this bullet's not exactly designed or intended to be used as self-defense bullet, the bullet did expand. Uh, so 
if pressed into service for that, it, it could be effective. Obviously, it's not going to bounce off or whatever it hits. Uh, but that said, the jacket did strip off. I'm not sure why it stripped off with the heavy clothing shot. Um, I don't know, but that's that's just how it shook out. Uh, but we did get uh, deep penetration and some expansion. So if pressed into service for that, it could, uh, it could perform for that role, although not ideal. Uh, and the heavy bone test... Uh, for whatever reason, we kept losing the jackets. Uh, I'm not sure why that kept occurring. We didn't see that with the 180 grain loading, uh, but we are seeing it here with the 200 grain loading. So I'm not sure why we're seeing that. Uh, penetration was um, about about on par with the other 200 grain loadings. Uh, we got penetration almost into jug four on the second shot. The first shot, unfortunately, the core kind of got off to the side a little bit. Um, and I guess it bounced off the fourth jug. I'm not sure because I couldn't recover it. I couldn't find out where it went. There was just no real way to tell, but I'm assuming it was probably a, a similar, it would have gave similar penetration. So almost into jug four, but not quite. So that's decent performance for the two, uh, for the heavy bone test. Although I don't think that's best in class yet. Uh, in fact, I think the nozzler still has, uh, is still besting it, uh, in that regard. Uh, but decent performance good performance in the bear uh, so against the nozzler bullet this bullet seems to offer a little better performance in the bear test because it holds its uh, mushroom it's shaped better you get a little more uh, expanded diameter for a larger wound channel but you still get good penetration uh, in the bone test it seemed like the nozzler the jacket at least stayed on although it was starting to come off but they stayed on and we ended up with a little more penetration so i don't know will this replace my nozzler loading uh I think it might come down to accuracy. I'll have to test them for accuracy and see how they uh, shake out. But um, not a bad choice, though, as a hunting bullet. Uh, so I don't know, guys. If you think I got all this wrong, go ahead and comment down below. Let me know. If you haven't already done so, please like and subscribe. Share the video. It helps the channel out. Uh, I appreciate your comments, guys. So do give me some feedback. Uh, but as always, please keep those comments professional. And I'll see you guys next time.